Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, we are not going to learn the whole of that awesome song by Stevie Wonder, Isn't She Lovely? But we are going to focus on training our knowledge of the major pentatonic scale, a very important scale in music. Almost all melody lines, the catchy ones at least, and most of the licks we add during our piano solos, guitar solos, will end up being on some pentatonic scale or the other. And there are generally two pentatonic scales that we use a lot with pop, rock and any kind of music, whether it's blues, funk, folk or whatever. It's the pentatonic scale. And in this particular lesson, we are going to focus on the major pentatonic scale. So I'm not using the whole Isn't She Lovely, just the end. Isn't she lovely? Made from love. Ba -da 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 -da. That lick. Bum. Ba -da 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 -da. So we are going to learn that pentatonic lick and a very important goal behind this lesson is to improve our piano fingering and learn the pentatonic lick and be very good at pentatonic playing. Being good at pentatonic playing will further improve our major and minor scale playing as well. It will give us a lot more fingering capability and confidence, which is why in this particular lecture, we are going to learn Isn't She Lovely, the pentatonic lick on every single scale. I'm not going to leave even one stone unturned. We are going to do how many scales again? 12. Seems like a lot. Don't worry. We are going to get this done. We are going to figure out how we can make this easy. Not just with one hand, but with both hands. Quite tricky actually, come to think of it. It's the part of the song where the whole band kind of plays it. So we're going to learn that particular lick on all 12 scales. Let's start with the original scale, E major. And all of the licks are notated for you. It's waiting for you on our Patreon page. You'll also get the MIDI files if that helps you. So you'll also be given the correct fingering along with the notation on each scale or each key of each scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the right hand, thumb being 1. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the left hand with the pinky being 5. So before we get started, it'll be awesome if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get cracking. E major first of all. Isn't she lovely made from love? So the lick first of all. Pa, 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 pa. Let's first get towards counting it. So it's a triplet time feel. So one and a two and a three and a four and a, that's how we would count this. So one and a two and a three and she'll wonder turn and lovely e e e e e e e e e e isn't she wonderful right so it's basically triplets and the lick is also triplets so tam pa da pa da pa 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 so it's crotch it triplet rest at the first beat at the downbeat. One and a two and a three and a four and a stop. Two, three, four. That's the lick. One. So as I teach you this lesson, I'll first show you right hand fingering, left hand fingering, then we put it together and move on. And it's good to have the context. Lovely made from love. So what's the E fingering? I'm starting with my middle finger and then thumb. thumb. Ba -da 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 -da. Trying to not confuse you too much with me also saying the fingering. You can see it in the notation and you can obviously see my fingers as I'm playing it. So middle, the key moments you could say are. So bring back your middle here, I guess. And there's a crossover. I don't want to use my ring finger and pinky finger because I can kind of just cross my thumb and use just these three. And then <clears throat> jump down with the thumb. So we made from love. Okay. And test your fingering by trying it at a speed which is a bit outside your comfort zone. 
so it's okay if you make mistakes but just try and make sure that you can kind of fly with it and make sure you you'll also fix any kind of wrong fingering by playing it wrong by playing it inefficiently you know by going maybe by repeating a thumb like this there's no second doubting the fingering if you cannot play it at a faster speed so try to para para so it's pretty efficient because it's also easy on my hand except for that last stretch but that's something you can still manage para para so try and speed it up not so fast necessarily but at a speed which challenges you para para So let me show you the left hand pretty much playing the same lick on E major of the pentatonic lick. So this seems to be pretty efficient. What am I doing here? Starting with my thumb finger so pam para and then my ring will be here because the ring seems to be ergonomically right there. So thumb ring would be good. Now you would want to cross. Cross what? You, now here you can cross a couple of things you can do tam pa ra ta ra ra ta ra 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 you can cross twice ta ra 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 but what i like to do pam ring ring tam middle tam pinky so pam pa ra 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 gets me some speed mm. having said that you can also cross with your middle finger it just feels a bit slippery to me with the middle finger so in this lesson we are going to get really down to it so to speak which finger slips more when to use the ring when to cross how to angle certain fingers so do stay tuned till the very end we'll be covering this on this lick on all scales if you do this lick your confidence on the on the piano is going to go sky high trust me so left hand pa pa ra 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 so Uh, thumb ring cross your ring okay and putting that together now with the right hand okay, let's take it a bit low so pam para ra try to at some speed so it seems a bit efficient scatter spread out your hand if you're getting confused you'll also train your eye because if you spread out your hand your eye doesn't know where to look you know are you going to look there but then you see i made a mistake with the left hand because i couldn't see the left hand so you have to train your eye and you have to develop that muscle memory to get it well possibly just with a kind of a eagle eye vision or a bird's eye vision where you kind of see it so that's another challenge you could spread out your hand or keep it close by so your eye still has the bird's eye but it's looking it's easy to look so if you play this hand maybe here and this hand even lower then you have to trust one hand you know so that also could be a good practice goal now i'm trying to trust both my hands i don't think that will work let's ah yeah got that but i may need to blindfold myself because i have to look when i play so a good way to test if your fingering is correct in the most extreme way i guess is to not look at both hands and just go for it and pentatonic lick strangely enough for the piano are a lot tougher than the linear licks this i find very contrasting compared to a guitar player or a violin player <clears throat> or even a horn player maybe any player all instrumentalists apart from piano players i think will find pentatonic licks a lot more playable more common or more possible than a piano player so i would say focus more attention towards the pentatonic movements rather than the linear ones all the time so we are in uh, again to revise we've done it on e 
Now let's journey forward. Uh, I'm going to take you now to the all black scale. That's F sharp major. So I chose F sharp major pentatonic scale because it's super easy. It's just all the black notes. There we go. It's pretty much that. So the 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 lick is just on this uh, on the five black notes because F sharp major pentatonic is F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. So let me show you the right hand as usual. So what did I do here? I'm starting with my middle, crossing my thumb now. It's almost like playing the a white note C major scale. See, you cross after three, right? Same thing here. Cross after the third. Just that your hand is a bit wider, isn't it? Let's try it at speed. Feels a bit slippery, but you kind of, you will get used to it. I think. I think find the sweet spot. You don't want to play here. You don't want to play too inside because it's a bit tougher to play the black notes deeper. So play it around the central area of the black key, if you will. And then what does the left hand do? We have to put the two hands together, but first only left hand. It's pretty easy. You keep all your five fingers planted on the pentatonic scale like this. The lower one comes right. So pinky there, F sharp. Pa 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 pa. Cross your middle. Pa 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 pa. Pa da di da ru ti da di di. Pa da di da da ti da di di. So whole story. Slowly. Pa pa da ti du. Pa da di da da ti da di du. Pa da di da da. Gets more comfortable over time. Sync up your two hands. Again to revise, middle, so middle, thumb, index, middle, cross. Mm. Pretty efficient, as you can see by my speed. And then the left hand, pretty efficient as well. So it's five plus three here, while here it's uh, three plus five. If you look at the fingers, so that's F sharp. Enjoy the scale. Don't get scared of it. It's you can even do that and you're on F sharp major pentatonic. Get used to it. So moving on, I'm going to cluster three scales with pretty much the same fingering but different notes. Those would be C major pentatonic, F major pentatonic and G major pentatonic. So now our work is going to start getting only easier and easier. So do stick around. We've done E major, we've done F sharp. Now things are going to get easy. We've done the groundwork. So if you take C, you take the same fingering as earlier, pretty much. I'll just show you. First, get your notes. You should probably, so you should probably write down the pentatonic scale, which is one, two, three, five, six, eight. Sa re ga pa dha sa sa dha pa ga re sa. Okay, you may want to write it down before you tackle it. With sta ta ra 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 ra, we are also accessing the low G. So your first note C has to be played with the middle finger. Bam, pa ba pa ba pa 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 pa. Rhythm is the same, lick is the same. We've just transposed it to C. And a good way to get a vibe would be mm, four, a one and a two and a three and a four. See, I'm snapping at the one and the two. So pa pa da 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 ti da da dum pa da dun de do 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 dum pa da dun de do 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 dum pa da dun de dun da dum. Almost the same as F sharp, right? So, bam, 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 slowly. Ba 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 de 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 dum, ba da dum de 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 dum, ta kun de dum. Bringing in the left hand, which is not a not very tricky at all. You go bam, ba da da dum de 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 do. Fairly simple. It's kind of a five plus three fingering, as I'm calling it. Middle. Start with the middle. Pum. Pa ba. The other fingers here. Stack up here. Pum. 
and repeat recover bring back your middle there as you can see it's pretty efficient so as you practice both hands get scatter them or keep them together and it's easy to see when they are just one octave apart okay you can even scatter so this comes the may from the okay and if you get it right maybe four times you can reward yourself by playing the whole song in a lovely pararo this is she wonderful and go get those fingers really active okay so to our luck g major and f major are going to be pretty much a carbon copy in terms of fingering even the finger gap the note gap displacement would be the same so let's consider f so so the lick would be same fingering you want to go to the root first with your middle finger Again, it's pretty efficient. Then the left hand does its thing. You can break it down, and then figure out the cross. Repeat. fingers should feel confident and not slippery should get that grip the more you practice you'll feel more confident and you'll get more grip on the piano so what about g major root is on g same fingering so right hand 3 plus 5 left hand 5 plus 3 finger let's put that together with both hands g d e g a b t e g g again d e g a b t e g g g g octave ba pa ra 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 tu to keep that repeat repetition going this will definitely improve your pentatonic capability let's now journey forward to d major slightly different fingering let me break it down first start with your middle in the right hand you just have one cross to do very similar to the e major we learned earlier d a b d e f sharp a b d d pretty easy start with your middle hmm pa ra re ru ru ta ra 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 pretty much the same fingering d so da pa ra d e cross here i guess mm, that seems to be efficient pa ra din da pa ra ra dum pa ra din da pa ra ta tum ta kan ta 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 tum what about the left hand pa ra din da ta 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 so i would start with my index finger index pa ba pa 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 and then you could cross over your ring finger ta ra ra tum so you don't have to cross again ta ra 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 ta ra ta ta some people may also go you know that middle finger cross i don't recommend because it feels very slippery at times so ring finger cross if you feel slippery on the hand especially the left hand pa ba ra ra ta 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 So, so middle and index in the left just left hand just left hand index ring index 
Right hand, middle. Let's put that together slowly. Try to sing along. Singing gets the confidence. Isn't she lovely? Made from love. There we go. Right, A major is very similar to D major. Uh, I'll show you the right hand. So you could go. Pretty much the same fingering. Three. Calling it three plus five fingering. And the left would go starting with the index. Pretty pretty similar to D. Actually, very similar to D. Almost the same. Yeah, I would go with the same fingering as D. Index. Ring. Repeat. Repeat. Let's put the two hands together now, a bit, bit slowly. Don't forget to cross the ring. Cross the ring there in the left hand. We go little fast again. If you're not getting both hands, you can always do the pulse in the left hand. Work your way towards the right hand, then maybe do the up simple fifth chord in the left hand and build towards the left hand. It will still be a good independence exercise as you can see from the interactions of the notes. This will boost your independence. So even if you are not getting the fingering in both hands, play a chord in the right hand. Simple fifth chord. Or play a simple pulse in the left hand and the right hand will do its thing. Do the Stevie Wonder lick. There we go. Very good way to develop your independence. Or you can put it together. This takes some practice. And again, play it at speed. So you know the fingers are correct. So let's move forward to the next scale. D flat major, also known as C sharp. I'm calling it D flat. The fingering is, is rather easy if you think about it. So it'll go... Bam. So I'm almost on my 3-5 fingering but but rather than that I will do 4 here in this cluster then cross my ring pinky on top like this and then back whole story of the left on D flat repeat because of the anomaly of D flat you have to play like this but the left hand is rather easier come to think of it you'll just do one of the old fingerings we've already discussed starting on the middle finger all five fingers here it's more of a five plus three fingering Three. So the starting finger is very important. And also the crossing point. Let's put that together with the right as well. Remember the right hand is four plus four in that sense. So this is D flat. Actually, pretty easy come to think about it. Because you get a lot of grip playing these black notes in the crossing. So practice it. You may not be used to this scale. So 
give it some time let's move forward so we have three more scales to go e flat so let's look at e flat pretty easy again you start with your middle finger so i with e flat and a flat what happens is you start with this kind of precarious point where the in, in middle will begin and then immediately your thumb will tuck under so uh, something like pam para pam para pam you keep your middle there para ra so you're just kind of bringing the index for the b flat for the 5 of the scale para ra 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 ta na ta and you end with your pinky and then thumb so pam para ra ra de ta ra 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 na be made from middle middle but you kind of cross the index to the left side of the thumb and keep your thumb here but could you have done it another way you can even do it in the normal 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 fingering but i i'm considering this kind of adds to to speed in some way and just to add some variety to the party as well mm Let's now add the left to the party. Just one important crossover moment you have to figure out. Pam pa ra 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 ri ta ra ra ra. Now you could cross pa ra ra. This is fine. Ta ta ra 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 ra. You could if you cross your middle there. Pa ra 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 ra. Index thumb index. pinky or you can save a step of crossing by going mm, by you going your ring however for e flat when i play i may interchange between middle and ring uh, so you can just see with the two hands together we've put the suggested fingering or at least the one which is working for me in the notation you could check it out mm -mm. Um, So start with your index and then things go forward. Back. Don't forget the triplet vibe. Okay, so that was our E flat major, A flat major, pretty easy again. So for A flat, you can go. can go a uh, four here and another four here and then back paradarata tarata tum paradarando be tarata tum tarata parata pum very slowly paradarate tarata tum probably ending with the ring finger on top that works for me paradarando pen ring tum paradarata tarata ring tum para so these four then cross one more time slowly right then let's do left okay left hand would go i think the left hand we can rely on the usual fingering uh, the 5 plus 3 fingering para tanto perere tum so whole story man Again, bam, para da 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 para da da, build up speed, para da da, build up speed, bam, para da 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 para da da, para da 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 para da da, para da 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 para da da, para da da da. Try it a few more times than normal. Try to recover and loop it if possible. So that was E flat and A flat. Now let's do the Bs and wind up the lesson. B flat major first of all, and then after that we'll do B major, right? So B flat major two flats. So pa pa ra 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 de tu ru ru dum. So three one two three one two one three four five one. So pretty much the three plus five fingering would work. I think that would work, and even the left hand, the five plus three should work. that's pretty easy come to think of it so that's b flat right and 
last but not least let's look at b major b major scale has five sharps namely f sharp c sharp g sharp d sharp and a sharp so let's do the lick on b major mm. only right hand first b major is slightly tricky for the pentatonic at least for me uh, i'll show you the lick on b and then i'll show you the challenge as well mm. you have to kind of do a little bit of a what do you call it semi circle movement with your wrist for b which makes it very unique for this lick mm. so i would do pam pa ra 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 ta ra 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 i'll have to cross my thumb somewhere so mm pa ra 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 ta ra ra i'll have to probably i'll have to cross it on that black note which is a bit weird usually we always cross our thumb on the whites but what seems to be working for me pa ra 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 ta 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 that's giving me that speed now let's try a few of the conventional strategies you can do the 3 plus 5 as well but i feel there's too much of clutter happening here to cross your thumb so you'd rather go cross your thumb on that f sharp let me know what you think in the comments b major is pretty debatable come to think of it but we are notating it as middle index middle thumb uh index middle thumb index ring back to thumb so pam para ra de tu 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 this gives me the speed i think and i make minimal errors now now the left hand i think is on the easier side you can do the usual uh, five meets three fingering i guess pam para ra de tu tu yeah that kind of works pam para ra de tu 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 para ra de tu 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 so the right hand with that kind of extra double crossing technique the left hand will go the usual traditional way putting that together cross 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 right guys so that was isn't she lovely the major pentatonic uh, scale lick which tv wonder plays at the very end where the whole section kind of uh, gangs up and plays that together you should listen to the original song without fail because you hear that lick very often and there are a lot of covers also of the song and as i told you at the beginning I thought that this lick would be a a very good challenge for you to practice your major pentatonic scale and the major pentatonic scale and the pentatonic scales in general are strangely enough for us pianists the things we don't practice very often but yet the things we need to use most often in songs we don't use the major and minor linear motions that often especially in pop rock and contemporary music we use the pentatonic a lot more for the melodies so the pentatonic needs your fingering to be a lot more capable and we decided for some reason to play it with both the hands which is a bit tricky come to think of it so i'll be completely fine if you can do it with one hand playing the tune and the other hand holding the pulse or a chord or a simple kind of a movement right so the notation is available with suggested fingerings on our patreon page do consider heading over there and supporting us for just 5 dollars a month and if you found the lesson useful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn that bell icon for regular notifications cheers and catch you in the next one